it is said that failure is a step in direction towards success. But if you fail twice, a man is sure to give up. But this story is an exception of a young man named Dilip Wag, who made the same film thrice and the third time the success that he achieved filled his house with awards. The sacrifice of Graham Staines is an inspiration for the world peace and Sister Gladys Staines for giving those who killed him and their two sons is an example of peace for the world. Dilip Wag made a film, War Path Beyond the Life, based on Australian missionary Graham Staines' life, struggles and his sacrifice. Dilip Wag sacrificed his business and traveled in India and abroad showing this film to approximately 10 lakh people bringing awareness of what had happened 20 years ago to Dr. Graham Staines and his two small sons to spread the message of peace through this film. Graham Staines' mother and uncle were upset by his plan to come to India from Australia to serve lepers at just 22 years of his age. But Graham remained firm on his decision. Graham's mother and uncle felt, what would 22-year-old Graham do in a country where there is no boundaries to poverty and a nation whose future has not yet emerged? Due to this reason, they were upset. Ignoring their objection, he gave up his comfortable life in Australia and arrived in Orissa, India. The most important point to note is Dr. Graham Staines did not come on his own. He was called by the people of Baripada, Orissa and on their invitation, he came to Orissa. During this time, Baba Amte in Chandrapur, Shivaji Rao Patwardhan in Amravati and Graham Staines in Odisha were serving these poor lepers, bringing hope in the lives of people who were expelled from their home and society. This had become Graham's passion to serve the lepers who had no hope. To the lepers in Baripada, Odisha, Graham was like a savior for them. Graham was also devoted to his wife, Gladys, elder daughter Esther, sons, Philip and Timothy. It was now 30 years since Graham came to India. One day on 22nd January 1999, Graham, his son Philip, 7 years old, Timothy, 9 years old, was sleeping in the jeep car. 50 to 60 people came suddenly at 12 in the midnight and attacked them with spears and batons. After beating them, they were burnt alive inside the jeep car. All the people who did this horrendous act belonged to the Bajran Dal. The chief orchestrator of this act, Dara Singh's mother was felicitated and rewarded rupees 25,000. They said to her, your son has done a good job. Dara Singh was sentenced to death by hanging. However, after appealing in the higher courts, the death sentence was converted to life imprisonment. Now, Dara Singh's old mother is working hard in fields to feed herself at her old age. Sister Gladys Staines always said, My husband and my sons were instrument of God's kingdom. For that, I am grateful to God. Lord Jesus gave an opportunity to Graham to share in his cross. So, with true heart, I pray, O oh Father, forgive all the workers of Bajrangta who are responsible for this act of killing my husband and two sons because they don't know what they are doing. This message of forgiveness touched the hearts of many in India and around the world and made them think whether anyone would be ready to forgive such cruel and heinous act. Only people who have truly accepted Christ in their life could do this because first, Jesus Christ has showed us this way of forgiveness. After living in India for 30 years, the Staines family became citizens of India and Dr. Graham Staines was posthumously conferred Padmashri. Dilip Wag was very much influenced by Gladys Staines' heart of forgiveness and also by her prayer of forgiveness. Without God's grace, such attitude was not possible. The future generation needs to know this and has to do something in serving others selflessly. This is what Dilip decided and it became his mission. 
Dilip Wag did a lot of research on Dr. Graham Stain's life and in the year 2003, he started making a movie based on him. It was named as Balidan Ek Sachai Sacrifice the Truth. On the 10th day of shooting, some radicals and anti-social elements started creating ruckus and the shooting stopped. There was a police case, news reports, all this affected the production of the film and a huge loss of lakhs of rupees. After 8 years, Dilip started afresh with new actors and he changed the name of the movie to War Path. Again, these anti-social elements interrupted and the shooting stopped halfway. All the actors deserted Dilip and did not wish to continue to work in this film due to fear. Again, there was a loss of lakhs of rupees. These anti-social elements questioned Dilip, is there any lack of sense in our land that you are making movie on a foreigner and trying to disrupt the peace? However, Dilip was determined to show true Christianity to the people by producing this film. Due to his honesty, he faced many challenges and difficulties. The third time he began shooting in 2017 and people started calling Dilip mad. Now this time, the movie was named as Warpath Beyond the Life. Dilip's wife Rohini gave one and a half kilos gold and supported him also. Dilip's sister Sangeeta, friends and relatives, all of them supported Dilip financially. Just like the widow in the Bible who gave all what she had, similarly, these people gave their all support to Dilip to make this film and to spread the message of God's love and peace. God himself sent a great helper, film director Shevde. He was determined to finish the movie and decided he will pay any price to fulfill his mission and get this film completed. He was determined not to allow this film to fail the third time. The film was completed. Total expenditure was Rs 2.5 crores. All the money was over. How the movie was completed, we just cannot imagine. Now the film was ready and with no money left, Dilip could not understand where and how to release the film. At this crucial time, he showed this film to some church leaders and it was decided to show this film in every church possible to encourage people to live a true Christian life and spread the message of peace and love as commanded by our Lord Jesus. In every show, 1000 to 15,000 people started attending to watch the film. As Dilip Wag turns to look back, he recalls 600 shows in 700 days and 10 lakh people were shown this film. This movie was compelled people to think and reason out for themselves what true Christianity is. During this film show, Dilip Wag used to give a short testimony to encourage people not to give up during times of struggle and keep serving in God's kingdom like Graham Staines and his family serve. This made people think for what are we living? What is the purpose in our life? What we should do with the authority our Lord Jesus has given us? Dilip Wag's aim and goal in creating this movie was to prepare the church to serve selflessly, spreading the love and peace of Christ. This film was shown not only in different parts of India, but also in other countries like Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Oman, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, etc. The love and support shown by the people all around the globe has made Dilip forget about all the pains and sorrows he went through. Jerusalem International Educational University, after seeing Dilip's austerity, struggle and determination, honored him with a doctorate. The film producer Dilip Wag and director Shivde were also honored by the global organizations Guinness Book of World Records London and Wonder Book of World Records London, which is a big honor and achievement in itself. Deepak Shivde, director, received the Best Director Award at the American Film Festival. This film has received five awards from Milan Film Festivals, Italy, Nigeria Film Festivals, etc and more than 50 awards from several states in India. Thanks, honor and glory be to our Lord Jesus alone. Dilip Wag believes just as God gave an opportunity to Graham Stains to serve the people affected by leprosy according to God-given ability. Similarly, 
God has given him the opportunity to serve the people of India and the world around to encourage them and bring hope in their lives according to the ability God has given him. God bless all those who have supported and helped with their precious contribution in the production of this film and even later by helping to organize the shows in India and abroad. God bless them and their families mightily. We will always remember Graham Staines and his family for lifelong. Our organization, Asha Foundation, has planned to build a memorial in memory of Australian missionary, Dr. Graham Staines. It will be named as Dr. Graham Staines International Gurukul. It will be the first international school and missionary college in Nashik, India. 3D plan for the same is ready. If God puts an impression upon your heart, you can please call on this number 0960-428-0275 to help the school and missionary college. Dilip had almost decided that after war path, he would not produce any other film. But he noticed that whenever he showed the war path movie, people would come and gift him a book. He received total 34 books through different people. All these books were associated with the Kandamal Orissa 2008 incident. He felt perhaps God wants him to do some work on this tragic incident at Kandamal. During August 2008, there were many violent incidents in Orissa Kandmar. In one month, they killed more than 100 Christian people, destroyed 393 churches and 6,500 Christian homes. More than 100 Christians were killed. More than 40 women were raped. Priests and nuns were killed. Christians were made to walk naked in the villages. 12,000 children lost their education. 50 to 60,000 people were forced to live out of Kandmal, Orissa, and this great massacre took place in just one month's period. After reading all these details given in the books, gifted by people, Dilip was in tears and he decided to produce a film which will inform the future generation that no matter how many people may mock and laugh at Jesus Christ, yet there will be true Christians who are ready to follow Jesus at the cost of their life. This film on Odisha's persecution will bring greater awareness and do justice to the people of Kandamal and encourage many. Despite incurring 80% loss in the first film, Dilip Wag has the courage to make another gospel film. He definitely deserves praise and support. And finally, he says that 
whatever I am doing, I am doing for greater glory for God and this film about the Kandamal massacre of 2008 too, like the first film, will bring transformation in the lives of many more people. For this, I am depending on your constant support and encouragement. God bless each and every one of us to be His witness for His glory. All believers, please pray for people from different religions who help for this film that God will bless them a thousandfold. Great servants of God, if you wish to organize a film show of this Christian movie, call or WhatsApp on this number 919604280275. We will personally come with our team and show the film free of cost.